Hello, eBay and or Reverb. Um, this is a saxophone that we have on consignment to sell. Um, this particular instrument is a Martin, the Martin tenor sax, um, Elkhart, Indiana. I gotta say, I've not ever seen one uh, with engraving this sharp. Typically what people will do is um, relacquer these and buff this down. This is actually like, you can feel all the ridges, which is of course, back in the 50s, all hand done. Um, this particular instrument is uh, serial number, uh, what is it? Du, 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 flip over here. 181740, which according to the charts, uh, looks like it was made in 1950s, 1952 to be exact. The gentleman who owns this was the original owner. He purchased it um, and then kind of put it away. He hasn't played it in a long time. Um, so you can see that the amount of wear is very minimal. A lot of times we see this all, all chingered up. We see the back all messed up. Little tiny bit of wear here and a little bit of wear here. So minor <laughs> compared to what we usually see. The horn doesn't appear to be, oh, and there's uh, some thumb, some thumb wear here. Um, the horn doesn't appear to be um, bent, damaged, dinged, any major things going on with it. Um, you can see that the bell keys and this whole cage looks really good. A little bit of lacquer wear there. Um, yeah, it's really very pretty. Um, gorgeous instrument. There's its bell, just so everyone gets to see the bell. And we'll look at the neck receiver area in a second. Um, we have gone through and uh, adjusted this to play condition. We've replaced a couple of pads. To be honest, the pads are probably pretty old and if you're going to be um, gigging with this or using this as a, a restoration instrument, you may take it to uh, your local store or to Kurt Alterac and uh, have him do a complete overhaul on it um, because it is what it is. We didn't want to put a, over, a whole overhaul on something, excuse me, and then turn out that uh, you're gonna put rue pads on it or something something exotic. Um, this is the neck, <coughs> excuse me. Um, it's very good condition as well. You can see uh, it moves easy. That's round. That I guess is your, your neck clamp, that's pretty cool. Uh, the cork is in fair condition, not amazing, but it's okay. Uh, another couple fun things with this particular horn is it comes with the original guarantee I did take better pictures of that. And it's a postcard that, um, I don't think you can actually mail this anymore. There's no zip code. Um, and then the, uh, looks like the business card of where it was purchased. Woodward is the phone number. That's pretty awesome. Uh, looks like it comes with the, <laughs> looks like the original mouthpiece. That says Martin, the ligature, which is kind of older, but it says Martin as well. It's in okay shape. And then the mouthpiece, it's really hard to see because it's kind of a little bit rubbed off. It says Martin as well. Um, has a couple, almost looks like intentional dings in it, but uh, I don't know quite what those are. Um, heavy wear on the top of the mouthpiece, but the facing actually looks okay. Yeah, um, it appears to be, I don't know what this material is, Bakelite, hard rubber. Uh, I don't think it was plastic because it was the 50s. I just don't know. Uh, but super cool find, uh, really cool, complete instrument, as opposed to, you know, some of these we get, they're just so beat, and then others we get are um, so reconditioned that it loses the original charm of it. So yeah, we have a Martin, the Martin, tenor saxophone from Instrumental Music Center in Tucson. Happy bidding.